Greetings. Hello. Thank you. Greetings from the warm heart of Africa, Malawi. So I said earlier, my name is Lakina Milanzi from Malawi, a student at Nzuzu University studying in optometry. I've got a small piece tonight on the topic under discussion, justice. It is titled, Leaving No One Behind in Preaching the Gospel. I repeat, leaving no one behind in preaching the gospel. How do we make the gospel reach out to people regardless of their status? How do people with disability participate in preaching the gospel? The Bible teaches us to spread the gospel to everyone on earth. But just how often do we do this? How many people with disabilities in your campuses participate in preaching the gospel? Just look around and recount. How many have assumed topmost leadership positions in your church or organization? Students, how many have we voted as secretaries, chairpersons, chairpersons or even press team directors in our campuses? If the answer to these questions is zero, then this is a ground worthy exploring. People with disabilities are just like any of us. Disability is not a permanent condition that cannot be rectified. By removing the barriers to disability, then the condition is normal. If you give a person with healing difficulty healing urge, then the disability is gone. If you give a person with walking difficult a wheelchair, then the disability is gone. If you give a person with seeing difficult glasses to see, then the disability is gone. Then where is the disability? The disability remains in our mind. Yes, in our mind. The attitude towards disability is what is regressing us all. The attitude like people with disability are weak, People with disability are incapable. People with disability are a curse. People with disability are trash, and even people with disability are half humans. This is what is impounding our reasoning towards disability. Let us think positively about the people who are living with disability. Remove any attitudes towards it so that we don't leave them behind in preaching the gospel. Let us improve on our infrastructure to make it disability friendly. Let us improve on our transportation system to make them disability friendly. Let's improve on our Bibles to make them disability friendly. Let us improve on our communication system to make it disability friendly. We are the change agents to, to improve on everything to make it disability friendly. Time has come to leave no one behind in preaching the gospel. I'll give you an example from Malawi. We have people in Malawi who are, who are, who are disabled but are participating in preaching the gospel. We have those that are blind but sing. We have those that cannot walk but preach. After a survey was done, about 1,556,600 people live with disability. 40% had difficult, had difficult seeing. 24% had difficult hearing. 27% had difficult walking and only 90% had difficulties in speaking. How do these people then participate in preaching the gospel? Some have hidden their talents in fear of us who consider ourselves able-bodied, of us who claim to be the perfect ones. The question still remains the same. Are these few that are participating enough? We have them in our campuses. We have them in our countries. We have them in our homes. What are they doing? Thank you.